People are like AI. So I want to change a few things up here on the Think Future podcast because I think you know who I am and I think you know what you need to do in order to subscribe. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I'm wasting all this time at the beginning of the show. Wait a minute. I'm still talking. So I read a really interesting article the other day talking about how one of the reasons why we love AI so much, generative AI, and we think it's actually getting close to sentient, is that a lot of times what it produces is very similar to what a human being would produce. If you gave a human being a task, it would go off and search a bunch of things on the internet if it didn't know what it was or if it knew what it was, it would then turn around and create a dialogue or a description of this thing that you were looking for. So let's say, for example, you went to a human being and you said, can you tell me what the top 10 destinations for digital nomads are today? And if they already knew, if they were already into that space, they would be able to just tell you, right? If not, it would just they would just go to Google and they would search and they would come back with something and give you that response. And I think one of the reasons why we think generative AI is so human-like is that it basically does the same thing. It goes off and the ones that have browsing built in go out and do that. And the other ones that don't have browsing built in have already have this data already in their database somewhere in their massively large, that's why it's called a large language model. A large language model has a ton of information in it. So it may have the information that you're asking for. And then what it does, like a super autocorrect, like I was mentioning before, this is a sophisticated autocorrect, it puts these words together in a similar way as they've been put together already. So when we see the output from generative AI, we think to ourselves, wow, this is just like a human being talking to me. And I think one of the reasons why we feel that it's a human being talking to me, because if you think about it, human beings put words and phrases and information together in the exact same way. The reason why generative AI seems so human-like is that it's doing the exact same thing that human beings are doing. Because we do the same thing. In fact, most of us do the same thing. Maybe less creative types, because the cr people who are super creative, they might spend some time thinking about putting those words together in new ways. So if you're a really creative writer, or if you're a really creative visual designer, you would take the input and you would attempt to create something new and different and interesting. But if you weren't very creative and if you weren't really thinking that you wanted to do something creative, then you would output something like what AI does. So I think one of the reasons why we think generative AI is so great is because it responds in the same way a human who doesn't really know much about a subject responds. So it's basically the same as asking someone, a junior person who doesn't know a lot and isn't particularly creative, to search the web and put together some words and phrases similar to words and phrases that are already out there and come up with somebody. And that's why what it's creating is so, is so really kind of trite. It doesn't create anything really amazing and, and out there and super innovative and creative because it's just putting together things that are already there. Wait a second, that's what people do too. I mean, if you go back and look at every single solitary innovation that human beings have created, how have they done it? They've gone back and looked at things that already existed and put them together in new ways. Does generative AI do the same thing? Does it look back at everything that's ever been existed and put it together in new ways? Well, it seems like it does, but does it really? So this is why we think AI is close to sentience because it does something very similar to what human beings are doing. But does it add the creativity? Does it create something new? Maybe it'll create new juxtapositions that we've never heard of before, but it's up to us to take those new juxtapositions and do something with them, turn them into something new. It's up to us to take the output from the AI and do something more creative with it for us to add the human touch, the human element. And that's what makes it amazing. Don't just take the stuff that comes out of AI and post it up there and go, here you go, because it doesn't have that human spark. Maybe someday, but not right now. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.